Hello, Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com here, and today I'm going to show you how to play the little sunny version of Wade in the Water. So for this lesson you will need a harmonica in the key of G. We're playing in second position in the key of D minor. So before I show you how to play it, you need to listen to what it sounds like. Yeah. Okay, so you probably heard that that is not a 12 bar blues. In fact, it's a slightly different, uh, slightly different chord progression and it's a, it's a minor chord progression. So we're staying on the one chord for six bars, which is quite interesting. So the first, first lick over the one chord sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's, that was the two draw. We're holding that for three beats and then three draw half step bend, two draw, three draw half step bend, all eighth notes. Ba, ba, ba. And then we're playing a two draw on the offbeat between beat two and three. Okay, so that's going to sound like this one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then lick two is going to sound like this. It's a very similar kind of uh, rhythm. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're holding the four draw, just like we did on in the first lick with the two draw. So same rhythm, four draw, then five draw, four draw, six blow, and then four draw at the end. But instead of just landing on the four draw, we're doing a nice little run down. Four draw, four draw, half step bend, three draw, half step bend, two draw. So practice that bit probably more than the rest of the lick. And again, one, two. And let's try putting that all together. So starting on the four draw, one, two, three, four. Okay, get that nice and comfortable. Uh, that's probably the hardest bit, getting it nice and nice and quick uh, on that little four draw run down. Uh, so practice that specifically, and then when you're ready, let's move on to the next lick. So our next lick sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you hopefully heard that that is very, very similar to the first lick. In fact, it's exactly the same. We're doing two draw, then three draw half step bend, two draw, three draw half step bend, and two draw, except that we don't just land on the two draw and end, we take it down to a two draw whole step bend, then a one draw. So let's just try that last bit. One, two. Two draw, two draw whole step bend, one draw. One, two. Okay, so let's try piecing that all together. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the, the main chunk of stuff that happens over the one chord. And then we get to a turnaround of sorts, which goes over a B flat, A chord, and D minor chord. So the D minor is the one chord. Uh, the B flat is actually a six chord. And then we're going to the A, which is the five chord, then back to the D minor, which is the one chord. So lick four sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's gonna be three draw half step bend, two draw, two draw. So those all land on the beat, and then we're playing uh, eighth notes, two draw, two draw whole step bend, one draw. Okay. So you have gotta get those two two draws quite close together and quite quick, so don't forget to articulate them. And then at the beginning of the next bar, we're going to do a two draw whole step bend and release it into a kind of one, two, double stop. And then play the one, two, double stop again. On the offbeat between beat two and three. Okay. 
So practice getting that mouth shape right so that you're playing the two draw whole step bend and then you're relaxing your lips a little bit to get the one two draw and lose the bend as well. So let's try that all together, that whole lick, lick four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you repeat that lick twice and then that's it. That is your wade in the water tune. So practice each of those licks separately and then put them all together. And to help you practice it, I've put together audio files of each of those licks as well as a tab sheet, as well as a backing track, which you can get access to all of that by following the link in the description below. Now you can do something for me. You can hit the like button and you can subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on next week's free harmonica lesson. Thank you very much and I'll see you then. Take care.